Yo, what's up guys? My name is Hacky and in this video, I'm going to show you the fastest way to make your first $10 million in GTA 5 online. We're going to be diving into a bunch of different ways to get to that $10 million mark. Now, right before we begin the video, if it goes on to help you out, take a second to drop a like. That'd be awesome. Also, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and drop a sub because you do not want to miss any more videos like these. Join the Hacky Army. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell as well. And let's get straight into it. So starting off, first thing we're going to do, we're going to head to the casino and do the daily spin. I think every single person when first logging into GTA daily should just do the daily spin at the casino. You can win money, RP, the weekly vehicle. You can win chips, which then you can convert into money. Also clothing and much more. So make sure you guys do the daily spin. It's a great thing to start off with. And after you do that, then we're going to take advantage of the double and triple money and RP jobs. Now each week, it's going to be different jobs that are going to be double and triple money and RP. Just search for whichever jobs are double and triple money and RP in the week you're watching this. As you guys can see, we got some triple money and RP, which are really good double money and rp are also pretty good but if you do see something's triple money and rp definitely grind that a bit you can get tons of money and rp from it if you do it properly you could get like hundreds of thousands of dollars i've seen people get as much as 400 to 500 thousand dollars from doing a whole game of that but obviously you want to set it to the most amount of rounds possible and the most amount of kills and everything and after grinding that for a bit you should have a couple hundred thousand dollars within just a few hours i'd say if not closer to a million and once you get to that one million dollar mark you guys are also set for the very first property you're going to want to buy for this. If you already have this property, that's great. If you don't, then just go ahead and buy it for a million dollars. And that's going to be the CEO office. So you guys want to go to Dynasty 8 Executive, go to Enter Site, and you guys want to buy the Maze Bank West office. It's this one. You guys want to buy it for a million dollars. That's the cheapest office you can get, and it still is in a pretty good location. Here it is. A good amount of people watching this probably already have a CEO office. If you do, that's great. If you don't, just save up to a million dollars and then get it. It shouldn't take more than a couple hours hours to get to a million dollars in game grinding those double and triple money and RP jobs. Once you get to your CEO office, go on your computer and I recommend you guys go in a solo public session for this or just a session without a lot of people so you don't have to worry about people messing it up for you. So become a CEO and then go on your computer and if you're just starting out with it, you're gonna have only special cargo unlocked but for it, you actually need to have a warehouse as well. So if you guys want to go for one of the cheaper warehouses, I do recommend that. This really depends on one, how much money you have obviously and two, how much you actually want to grind these cargo missions if you want to go absolutely all in for these missions get like one of the large ones or the medium warehouses they are a lot more pricey as you guys can see so that's why i recommend you guys get one of the cheaper ones i guess this large warehouse is a little cheaper than the other ones 1.9 million it still is pretty pricey though so if you want to go for the small ones and get yourself a cheap one you can do that once again it depends on how much you actually want to grind these because keep in mind we're going to be buying more stuff later on that's going to make us even more money than this and after doing some special cargo you're going to unlock vehicle cargo Cargo. And after a bit of vehicle cargo, you'll unlock special vehicle work, which are basically pretty easy special vehicle missions. We got a ramp buggy one. We got the Wastelander, Blazer Aqua, and all these. They're really easy missions that you can do over and over and over again. So now we're at a point where we grinded the weekly bonus jobs. We grinded some vehicle cargo missions and special cargo and did all the CEO stuff. And you should find yourself with a good amount of money, hopefully a few million, which means now we're going to move on to the next property slash business. So go into money and services, go into the Maze Bank foreclosure website website you're gonna want to get an arcade now they're highlighted in yellow it's a great business because you can actually make money both passively and actively with it i already have this one but i'm pretty sure it's a bit more pricey so if you want to go for one of the cheaper ones you can i think this is the cheapest one for 1.875 million dollars they're all the exact same just in different locations so if you have a bit more money i guess you can get this one but i do recommend you save as much money as possible and go for this one and also if you're wondering about vehicle recommendations i do suggest you get either the armored karuma the night shark or the zentorno those are great value vehicles if you're looking for a vehicle to buy but i think once again a good amount of people watching this already have some sort of vehicle to get them from point a to point b so this is basically the arcade if you're just starting out it's going to be completely empty you're not going to have any arcade machines in here and these arcade machines are what's going to get you passive income so you definitely want to get some arcade machines in here all you need to do just go in the laptop real quick and then you have all these different arcade machines as you guys can see there's some cheaper ones there's a bit more expensive ones it's really a to you which one you want to get and the more games you buy the faster the passive income will get and so the passive income will be right in the safe so go up to the safe and then press right on the d-pad so i got just over twenty thousand dollars from that basically as you play gta online you're gonna passively make money with this you're gonna get a little notification saying you have some money in the safe and there is a fifty thousand dollar cap so once it gets to 50k you're not gonna be able to make any more money so you do want to collect it and then it's gonna empty the safe and then it'll generate more and more money as time goes so that's the passive 
passive income side of the arcade now i'm going to show you the active income which is i mean pretty cool there's a somewhat hidden basement to the arcade as you guys can see that opens right there and then you have access to the basement and that's where you're going to be starting off the diamond casino heist now the diamond casino heist is one of the best paying heists in the game you're going to need to do some setups and then you'll unlock the heist finale and then you could do the heist over and over and over again and that's going to make you a lot of money especially if you're the host of it because usually the host of the mission is going to get most of the money so after grinding the arcade a bit you're making some money passively you're making millions actively with the arcade you're making at least a couple hundred thousand dollars with the weekly bonus jobs and selling some cargo with the ceo business so you should have enough for the almighty kosaka the kosaka is basically a big submarine which you can actually start the kayo perico heist from so i'm gonna call in my kosaka real quick and to buy the kosaka just pull up your phone go on the internet go into warstock cash and carry and then it's gonna be right here i already bought it but it is gonna be at least a couple million i wouldn't really recommend these extra customization options just because they're more money the sparrow is a pretty cool addition but that's if you have the money for it if you're just trying to save money and get to 10 million dollars the fastest way i wouldn't recommend really doing any of these just having the kosaka to start up the kayo perico heist is good enough so it's gonna spawn obviously in the ocean so then just safely land on here and enter your kosaka if you're going inside the kosaka for the first time you're gonna get a cutscene with this dude the pavel guy but this is the submarine and you can start up the kayo perico heist from here there's gonna be some prep work you need to do but it doesn't take long you're gonna go to the kayo perico island and do a bunch of cool stuff there and eventually you'll unlock the kayo perico heist which is basically the big daddy of all heists it pays absolutely insanely it's the best paying heist in the game even better than the diamond casino heist so you got the ceo cargo missions you got the arcade you're doing the diamond casino heist you're doing the kayo perico heist you're getting some nice passive income from the arcade as well and once again the daily spin and the weekly bonus jobs but the ceo business the arcade business and the kosaka business basically the kayo perico heist those three combined should be making you millions and you should get to the 10 million dollar mark using them in no time now if you're looking to expand from there i recommend you get either the facility or the bunker the facility actually gets you the doomsday heist which is another pretty good heist and there's actually an arcade up here i didn't even know that it's only 1.5 million but it is really far away to be fair same with this one so let me correct myself this is actually the cheapest arcade for 1.235 million dollars but yeah the facility is great the bunker is great the nightclub solid the auto shop's pretty good too there's a lot of great businesses but those businesses are probably the best to expand out to but that's pretty much going to do it for this 10 million dollar guide hopefully this video did go on to help you out if it did drop a like on it subscribe if you guys are new turn on the notification bell as well anyway though this has been hacky have a good rest of your day i'll see you guys in the next video and peace